Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small, but still huge on the inside, bunkhouse travel trailer from Alliance. This is the 2024 Alliance Delta Model 251BH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Delta and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys an Alliance Delta with Will. Will and I have never shown an Alliance Delta together. And if you guys don't know, I actually own a 262RB Alliance Delta. I own, I love it so much that I bought one myself. Now, before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good, guys. Um, congratulations to whoever won the bobblehead yesterday. Check, if you enter, check the uh, description down below. We'll have your name there and congratulations. Make sure to email Matt at mattsreviewreviews.com and uh, give him your address and all that and he'll get that bobblehead mailed out to you. And if you didn't win yesterday, stick around. Later in the video, we'll tell you how to win this time. We're not gonna tell you where in the video. Nope. We're not gonna tell you when in the video, but here's what I do know, Will. We are giving away at least 25 bobbleheads. There you go. Leading up from now until Christmas or until like the week before Christmas. Right. For shipping and stuff. Right, right. So make sure you are watching every episode of Matt's RV Reviews because you never know when we're going to be giving away right. a bobblehead. Will, let's begin. All right. The model is the Delta 251BH Alliance. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 29 feet, three inches. The dry weight is 6,422 pounds and the hitch weight is 735 pounds. Okay. Now, Will, it's a heavier travel trailer. It's built very well. My travel trailer is almost the same exact length. It's only like a foot longer, 100 pounds heavier. Yep. With my version of the F-150, it towed fantastic. Right. With that said, depending on how- A lot of F-150s won't tow correct. it very well, to be honest. Correct. So you got to have the right version. But still, my version towed it just fine. Right here does come with a ballast in power tongue jack. I'm gonna tell you about an option in just a minute. Okay. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Look at this beautiful painted molded fiberglass front cap. Yeah, that's Alliance really nice. Delta looks fantastic. And Will, yeah? how funny is it that my orange A and my pinstripes just makes it look so different than the normal it one. does yeah it's just funny changing out one letter yeah so if you guys don't know i had alliance give me a custom jet bing a custom orange graphic on the front of mine to match my truck and uh that and a little pinstripe pinstripes just like the yankees you know right here we do have side marker lights okay really nice storage right here and then look at how big this storage is huge storage huge storage will here's where you can control your awning switch i love from that amazing hot and cold spray ports usb usb c power front cap lights everything that you want right here and then this is such an amazing feature here yep it actually comes with this table and it's bubble sealed right right right, right. But this table will- And perfect storage for it too. Perfect storage, it comes out and then you set up your table. Especially if you're like cooking something on the barbecue. Yeah. And you wanna have buns and ketchup and everything. Yep. It goes right there. So to win a bobblehead today, comment down below, hashtag bobblehead, and drop a comment, what's your favorite thing to throw on the barbecue? Okay. If you comment hot dog, you're not winning, bud. <laughs> Tell us about your favorite time. What's your favorite time of year? What's your favorite place to go barbecue? And tell us a story about barbecue. And one of you guys will be selected to win a bobblehead. And make sure you tune in tomorrow to the motorhome video to figure out if you won. Okay. We are only taking entries from 7 p.m. tonight until 6.59 p.m. tomorrow. There you go. Well, call it 6.50 tomorrow. Okay. Oh, right, because we got to have time to... I got to copy. Figure you it know, out. I yeah. got to read them all. So thank you to everybody who's entered. And again, no purchase necessary. We will be paying for the shipping ourselves. Thank you to everybody. Right there, Will, manual stabilizing jack, okay? Okay. So you do have the option to get the Lippert auto leveling. 
Right. Not only that, when you do that, that power tongue jack changes to the Lippard power right. tongue jack. We did it, and it's about like a $4,000 upgrade. Yeah, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. Um, fortunately, we're sponsored by Lippard, <laughs> so that definitely helps for our situation. <laughs> right here, we do have a Furion Instant Hot Tank that's water heater. Here's what I will say. If you plan on keeping this unit for years, well, that's totally what it comes down to. If you're keeping it for one year and then get something bigger and better or smaller and better, mm -hmm. um, I, I wouldn't. Or if you're like full timing, like some people don't want a fifth wheel of full time air. So if you're full timing in a travel trailer, you, I could sort of see it. For sure. Very nice power awning with LED lights. And hey, look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. ST225-75 R15. Okay. Right here, we do have these very nice slipper solid steps. Speaking of full timing, well, it is warranty for full timing, which is huge. Nice grab handle and Asdell right here. All the Deltas have Asdell and Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Okay. Huge feature right there. Coming around the back, we do have a very nice little outside kitchen here. Yep. And a little gray stone cooktop right here. I love that. That's cool. Yes, sir. Very nice. Coming around the back, well, look at this ladder that we made Alliance Incorporate. Well, we didn't know about the big wider one, but uh, Will had this ladder on his Alliance Avenue, and we, and they did it because there was a shortage of ladders. Right. And I told them, you need to make this your new standard ladder. I absolutely love how sturdy it is. It's very nice. And then this one actually doubles as a towel dryer. There you go. Just don't climb up it if it's wet. Don't climb right. up a ladder if it's wet. It is prepped for a backup camera there. And then this unit does have a hitch. You cannot tow behind it, but it's good for a bike rack. And it is prepped for a 50 amp. Okay. Finishing up, Will. Right there, that's where you do dump your tanks, black and gray. Nice. There is a little bit of storage underneath here. Yep, just a little bit. Okay. And then, wrapping it all up, is the other side of storage. Battery disconnect another outdoor shower, water pump switch and everything. But what makes this unit even amazing, Will, there's a slide out switch here. Right. So literally at Margaritaville over the weekend, my pole was like right here. Right. And I'm able to watch- And you were by it. yourself. Yep. And so I literally lived that experience of putting the slide out out, watching it to make sure I didn't damage my unit. There you go. Well, Will, the outside of the Delta looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Check it out. All right, starting up front. You have a nice bedroom up here. Nice kitchen in the middle. Dining area right there. Bunks back here. And right next to the bunks is the bathroom. Where are we starting today? We're actually gonna start in the bunk room, but first, you know, we're not gonna give a big shout out to Lipper. We are. Lipper, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. If you guys need slide toppers, Furion backup cameras, auto leveling, yep. the side cameras, the doggy screen door, guys, look nobody else than Lippert. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They sponsor the show. Go to your dealership, go to Amazon, go anywhere, you know? Just pick up that stuff. And um, I know they made my life easier with my lines, Delta. Right. So with that said, well, we're gonna start back here in the corner bed. Okay. Look at this. Very nice. Very clean, Will. It is, yeah. Um, good mattress here. I have a light with a USB and USB-C. Nice window right here. Very, very nice. And you know what it is? Oh, this is going to sound weird. It doesn't feel sloppy back here. Right. Like this mattress isn't sliding around. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then what's above me? Up top here, you have another mattress exactly the same. You got USB up there, lights, AC, great window right there that opens up. And again, just a nice mattress, like you said. And these uh, close off, you know, with the curtains and all that as well. For sure. Right over here, Sansui TV. Okay. Great TV. The whole, it's like, it's a smart TV. Oh, cool. So it's um, YouTube, mm -hmm. Netflix, all that stuff. Cool. So literally, I haven't even hooked up, well, one, it's, comes with the wine guard thing so you can get digital yeah yeah so you can get digital channels 
But when you hook up to the Wi-Fi, like I'm streaming YouTube. Yeah, you're good. It's really that's some alien technology there. Alien technology. Right there, we got storage above there. Okay. Nice TV. Okay. Good storage here. Kind of like a pantry, like multi-use. Yep. And it slides out. Power in there. Yes. Slides out there. And then uh here's your fuses and everything. And a little bit more storage there. Okay. Now coming around here, Will. First, you know that lights up a lion's blue? Nice. It lights up blue in the middle of the night, which okay. is really nice. Here's where you can control your lights, your slide outs, your tank heaters. And then listen to this. You see that? You yeah. hear that? Clicks. I know it's working. You right. know what I'm saying? So many people, they're going to the new voice technology, yeah. um, which the voice technology isn't bad because there's buttons as well. kind of cool. But the touch screen stuff, I yeah. don't need that. Right. I just want my lights on. Also, so, a feature that this has that mine doesn't, this Bluetooth sound system right there, which oh, is, is pretty interesting. Oh, is that new or just for this floor plan or you don't know? I don't know. I haven't, it's not in mine. Okay. Nice flush floor, huge U-shaped dinette. And as you can see, it is dropped down to make the bed. And since it is dropped down, I'm gonna show everybody. What the heck? It's just the back ones, I think. Which is actually kind of cool because it almost gives you like a little headrest. And again, another nice firm area, you know. Yep. It doesn't feel like the cushions are gonna be falling out. This one might. But what I would do is I would put this big one sure. on yeah. this side and put the two small ones in there. But still very, very comfortable, nice and doable, especially for those non-paying customers. Right. Nice big atrium windows, Will. I love the windows. I do too. And it's a taller slide room for a travel trailer. A lot of times I'll hit my head here. Okay. So that's not bad. Like right here, you know, it'd be lower and you're like going to sit down and you'll hit your head. Ah. Um. Yeah, huge windows. And I love how they all open and everything. Yes. And then underneath, if I can get to it, that one's a little further up. There we go. You do have MCD uh, blackout shades, which is really nice for a travel trailer. Again, they're clean too. You know what I mean? Like. Yep. I feel like that's a good theme for this travel trailer. Yes, and there is a little nook and cranny behind the fridge yes. there. Will, show us this kitchen. Okay, over here you have a nice Furion compressor refrigerator. I have this fridge, obviously. Yeah. Fantastic. It cools off quick too, doesn't it? Yep, and I put all, so I went for Halloween and I put the Reese's in the freezer. Oh yeah? Because how else do you eat your Reese's? And all the kids are like, why are the Reese's cold? It's just like, honey, look at look at me <laughs> and look at you, Annabelle. Right. There's a reason why I look like the way I do, because I have mastered the art of Reese. Right. I have my degree in Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Storage up top here. Yes. Nice uh, backsplash all the way around. And again, I like how it's nice and secure and clean <clears throat> and everything. Extension faucet right there with a big single bowl sink. And a little flip up countertop space. And there is a uh, power underneath as well. Right here. Hey, that's a $174 trash can. It sure is. And I like how that's built in and everything. Does too. mine have a trash can? I don't know. I haven't Dude, seen it. Dude, I did not see it. Nice storage here. Wow, they did soft close. Nice. I didn't realize they were doing that. Very good. That's cool for a travel trailer. Nice storage. Greystone microwave here. Greystone range hood right there. And a three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights and the oven right there. Next to that, you have some drawers here. And underneath, you got nice big pots and pans drawers. Do you know how well my oven works? No. Neither do I. No. <laughs> I did use the microwave when I went camping though. Did you? Yeah, remember I was trying to like microwave the rice with the uh, oh, that's water. Right. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. And I would like to mention this unit has two AC units. It does, yep. Very nice. Okay. Is that standard or no? Or you don't know? I think it's standard. Okay. MSRP on this unit here. And it doesn't matter if it's standard because it's in this MSRP. Uh -huh. So stock number 297136 MSRP is 
$54,710 MSRP. Will, I must be doing pretty dang good if I bought myself an Alliance Delta, right. right? I mean, that's expensive for a travel trailer. It is. But guess what? I did not pay $54,000. And you guys will definitely not pay $54,000 because I know we can get you. Trust me, I personally know we can get you a lot better price than that right unfortunately because it's the current model year for alliance we're just not allowed to advertise it but here's what we can do go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash i've linked that link down in the youtube description below fill out the form let them know that you want to buy an alliance delta you'll get sent to a member of my team and my team will hook you guys up with the absolute best price in america and well the bobbleheads have been coming in mm -hmm. so i sent an email out to everybody who bought right. during the hershey show mm -hmm. the amount of delta owners that we right. have in the family now fam alley now is absolutely incredible and trust me they got incredible deals on each and every one of their deltas and it since i own a delta and will owns a paradigm it's our mission to be the top alliance deal oh, in the sure. country and it's going to be really tough since we don't represent alliance at the tampa rv show right it's going to be tough to be that number one spot but trust me guys when you reach out to us during any time of the year we will make sure you get the absolute best price in america that's right well yeah <laughs> show us this bathroom okay by the way did you show the storage underneath this bunk i don't think so okay right underneath here well there is storage underneath the bunk Okay, I was totally expecting a radius shower. In yes, here, sir. But they didn't do it. No, sir. Nice wide shower. Yes, sir. Great depth. I love the shower curtain. Tons of head height. I thought I was failing this before I opened the door. This definitely passes. Ding! That's shower test seal approval. Will, it is. the bathroom in the Deltas is one of the things that yeah. I absolutely love about them. Right here, we do have nice place for towels. It's so okay. weird. I feel like I've seen this floor plan before in other brands but not with this roomy of a bathroom, you know? For sure. And you know what it Is must be? Is a wide body? Well, I don't know. You're a wide body, so am <laughs> I. But you know what it probably is? It's probably smaller bunks. Right. And it's probably the reason why there's no back door here. Oh yeah, maybe. Yep. Truthfully, I'd rather have this, you know? Just saying. But pros and cons. I'm still gonna make that my dislike, okay. but you're 100% right. Over here, Will, we do have nice mirrored medicine cabinet. Instant hot tankless water heater. And oh, liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, nice. go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle. And you know we are going to be at the Alliance Rally, giving yes. away more limited edition Alliance blue ones at the rally this year. And now we'll both attend this year, Will. And so, we'll be at the um, Southern Alliance oh, Rally, Oh, yeah, yeah, too, yeah. Is what, when is that? Uh, April. 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 Early April. Well, we'll be at that one. The one at Margaritaville. Pour some toilet well. From personal experience, yep. being a Delta owner, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Okay. And then to wrap it all up, the same exact bedroom as mine. Yep, same exact. Okay. Very nice storage above here. Storage above here. Okay. Storage here. Okay. You want to get that side or you got it? I mean, I'm all the way crawling. Okay. Okay. Check this out. You can fold your clothes or you can take this out and hang your clothes. That's cool. Either or. Uh, power and cable for a TV right there. Nice window here too. This is nice, Will. That will light up the area at night, mm -hmm. but not blind you, not wake you up. Right. And then... It also turns on and that will like wake a you reading up. light. Then you do have Hidden storage. storage there. Yep. Power and USB on both sides. Really, really nice. And there is storage underneath the bed. Very nice. Yep. And then can you show that drawer? Yeah. Nice big drawer right here too. Yeah. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time that we give you three things we love about this Alliance Delta and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? It's going to be tough. It's not going to be tough. Okay. Uh, dislike number one for me is the U-shaped dinette. Okay. I love being a U-shaped dinette. Yeah. After having this, 
I'm not a big fan of it anymore. So we've been telling you for some time now. Easy now, Tiger. I'm just saying. I'm, a, I'm an RV owner now. I know. But it's not because the reason why you're saying. Um, I just much rather have a sofa, a bigger yeah. sofa, personally. But with this unit having the family, people are going to want the dinette. But for me, that's just dislike number one. Okay. Well, dislike number two is going to be the fact that there is no back door yeah. for the bunk area, and the bunk area doesn't flip up. It's crazy. It seems wide, too. Like, you would think there's enough room for it. You would think so. I don't know the reason. Oh, I do. Because no. of the outside kitchen. Outside kitchen, possibly. I don't know, nor do I care. That's just a big dislike for me. That is dislike number two. And then, Will, do you have a dislike number three? Um, yeah. Talk to me. I wish... You can tell in here they did something like this is definitely wider. I don't know if it's a wide body, but I think they should have at least done an option for a king size bed with smaller nightstands on both sides. And, oh, yeah. No, they definitely had the space. Yeah. Wow. Great point. Well, yeah, I'm going to yeah, make that an option because I know in this class, most of yeah. the time it does have well, a queen size and they definitely could have. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a combo okay. with my mattress from rvmattress.com. Um, it made it. It's the bed sits up high, okay. and so having a real thick mattress makes it hard for me and you know to hop into the bed. Okay. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about the Alliance Delta. Okay, we'll go first. I'm definitely going to give it to this bathroom here. Yes. And, and again, it's just like, I don't know, like, they found extra space somewhere. And, like, that just made all the difference in the world. I bet you it's not, like, much more, but it's just enough to help you help it flow better. Yeah, for so. sure. Absolutely. Well, that is like number one. Um, You know what? Give me like number two. Okay, like number two. Okay, you're thinking. I got it. I got it. No, I, I, I wanted. I didn't want to sound so corny. If you had like a huge like. Okay. Like number two for me is going to be the flush floor slides, mm -hmm. the Asdell sidewalls, the fit features, the constructions in here. Goodyear tires. Goodyear tires, soft closed cabinetry, all of those fit features and amenities. Right, the big atrium windows. This is all little stuff that I really do appreciate being an RV reviewer. Mm -hmm. Um, and I and I want to. I emphasize that I'm an Alliance owner and I'm a little arrogant about it because an arrogance about it, not because I'm like arrogant about it, but like I'm proud of the fact that I bought it with our own money. Right. Right. Like I could, I could get given an RV for like yeah. a six month demo, like the motorhome. Yeah. But like, I love this brand. I love this company so much that I wanted to put my money where my mouth was and, you know, yeah. it's just an amazing product. So that's definitely number two. And then number three, well, the big game changer for the Delta is going to be that big pass-through storage, the barbecue table for the outside, and the slide-out and awning switches right. from the outside. Yep. Sounds stupid, but literally I've already used them personally right. based off of my first camping trip. Yep. Unreal. That is well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming an Alliance owner, like both Will and myself, Will has had an Avenue and now a Paradigm, and I have a Delta, and I will get their new motorhome that comes out. <laughs> no motorhomes coming anytime soon. But Wait, if it did. But if it did, they know who to call. Anyway, if you're interested in buying an RV, go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033 or send me and Will an email. It's matt at mattsrvreviews.com or will at mattsrvreviews.com. We may get our personal mission for Alliance owners that we want to make sure we sell the most alliances in the entire country. And you guys know how to get the free bobblehead. We're giving away one every day. So make sure if you... Did not win today. Make sure you watch tomorrow's video for another chance to win. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below, hashtag bobblehead, and tell us the story that we told you to tell. Yes. Also, you can leave in a separate comment three things you like, three things you dislike. Alliance, out of all the manufacturers, one of the best about reading the comments, and they want your feedback, so they will appreciate it. And of course, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Hi, Joe Mel. <laughs> Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.